It's evident this has become the new way of life. Take course on Old Palm Road, for example. The owners placed a washing station on the entrance and insist customers wash their hands before entering. Also limiting the amount of persons inside. Across the street, Lewis Brothers wearing masks as they attend to customers. As we travel through St. John's, it was the same policy, limiting the amount of customers in store, ensuring social distancing rules are followed, and ensuring everybody sanitize their hands prior to entering. Yes, no one comes in the store without a mask. As soon as you enter, there is um, someone spraying your hands before you enter, and uh, actually when you're leaving. So we practice it and social distance. Six feet, most definitely. Some stores made their customers know immediately with signs before entering. And uh, what we sort of put in place, um, just to follow the protocol, um, we have our hand sanitizers. When they come in the store, that's the first thing we ask them to sanitize their hands. Of course, we abide with the, the six feet of the social distancing. And of course, as you can see, all the testers have been removed. So we're the ones who actually go, you know, take it out and, you know, it has been very quiet. And that is expected because people are still a little bit nervous and a little bit, you know, um, skeptical as to the opening of the, or semi-opening, I should say, of the country. Even with the reopening of some businesses, the city was still not excessively crowded. And some stores remained closed. Others say business is slow. But compared to the ghost town we saw just last week, patrons say they are thrilled to be back shopping even if it means wearing a mask. The only concern is the street vendors, who don't appear to be as equipped with hand sanitizers when conducting businesses with customers. Kim Emanuel Baird, reporting for ABS News.